Well, the temperatures are getting much colder and we have had nights drop to like 25 degrees, so we have had some hard frost. So now I am going to dig up some of my sunchokes or Jerusalem artichokes, whichever you like to call them. Now, if you remember in an earlier video, I showed you the pretty sunflowers on top of all the stalks. And this plant really has a interesting history. It is native to the U.S. and Canada, and it was a very important food source for the Native Americans. Even the Lewis and Clark expedition dined on these when it was difficult to find other food. And Europeans brought them back to their native country, and during World War II, they were an important food source for many because you could get these Jerusalem artichokes without a ration card. Now about their name, they aren't an artichoke and they did not come from Jerusalem. So very complicated how the name was developed, but they really are part of the sunflower aster family. And believe it or not, there are over 200 varieties of the sunchokes or Jerusalem artichokes. I think they started calling them sunchokes because it was just a better marketing name. And it really probably does describe them better than Jerusalem artichokes. Anyway, forget the name problem. Come with me as we dig up some. Now I'm gonna cut off one of these big stalks here. I mean, this one is huge. Okay. And I'm just gonna cut off the little ones attached to it. See if we can just kind of loosen it up here. You don't want to dig with a shovel because you can go right through them. Okay, here's one here. Okay. big one. Okay, I think we got that hole well. And then I want to shake this off. So even though So even though this was such a big root, it really didn't have that many on the bottom. We got this one, and we got this one. I'm not seeing any others. Oops, one here. Now I'm just going to get this big stalk out of the way. Oh lordy. Now let's try to do the stock back there. I'm going to cut off the top parts. Now it's time to go through digging. Oops, I see one here. that one. Isn't that nice? Now this is really a nice grouping here. Can you see them all? It's all coming up on one multi-stalk, so to speak. Now the way to tell the difference between a wild variety and it's cultivated, which this is cultivated, is how those little bulbs cling to the roots. See, these grow real close to the roots, see? 
spot in the wild variety they're way at the end of a root and they can be very deep so they can be a lot harder to harvest well, I'm gonna gather these up and then we'll get in the kitchen and do some cooking so first off I want to tell you two warnings about Jerusalem artichokes or sunchokes the first one is they're very very invasive in your garden so be careful where you plant them you can think you've got all the roots up but they still come back the second one is more of a personal in nature. These have something called inland, I believe it's called, and it can cause gastric distress. In other words, bloating, gas, and your stomach can make sounds kind of like Chewbacca. So just introduce little amounts at first until your body gets used to it and you know how you react to it. There are plenty of pluses for eating sunchokes, however. A half cup only has 57 calories and it has 327 grams of potassium. Come on, rivals bananas, right? And much less calories. It also has something in it called inlet. And that is what, of course, caused the castric distress. But it also is very favorable for diabetics. My understanding is it's a different kind of starch than a potato and it doesn't count towards your carbohydrate count. I'm not so sure of that, but if you're diabetic, check it out because they call this the diabetic potato. Well, you notice I have this wrapped in plastic wrap and that's because I picked them yesterday, but then I had to go to my grandson's hockey game and I just didn't have time to make it. So I'm making it for tonight's supper. And so I scrubbed a bit of the dirt off, just mainly wash it off. I didn't scrub them well. And then I wrapped them in saran wrap because they can discolor. Now some say they taste a little sweeter after two days in the refrigerator. Well, to me, they've been in cold ground, so they've already been refrigerated, but they did get an extra day. Some people say Jerusalem artichokes often look like ginger. It's kind of because they're misshapen. Look at these got like all bulbs. So a little bit hard to scrub, but you're gonna do your best. You're going to try to get all the dirt, like see right there, get some right there, some right there, and get in all these little crevices. And if you can't get the crevices well, don't worry because you can get at them. Oh, look at that. I broke that right open. I guess I'm stronger than I think. It's like right there. I think there's still dirt, so I'm going to get at that later. But. Just scrub them up as well as you can, and then we're going to cut them up. And like I said, this unusual shape makes it a little hard to scrub. Okay, now it's time to cut them. So, first what I do is cut off all the little bulbs. This comes off. Yep pretty clean in that area. I might scrub that area just a little more. I don't know about you, but I hate the taste of dirt in my food. Then I'm just going to split this in half. Here's another bulb. Here's another one sticking out. And here's another one. And we're just going to cut these in half. You can make them whatever size you want. One more bulb here. Put that one in. And then I have no idea what is the best way to cut these, but I just kind of, I don't want real big pieces. So, And what I'm doing is dumping them in water here because like potatoes, they can discolor. So, so that's pretty good. So I'm going to show you here they are in the water. Now I'm going to drain them and get them ready for the 350 degree oven. And now I want to drain them. Shake them out here. Get as much water off as we can. Oops, lost one. 
And if we drain them, we're just going to put them in here. And we're going to do that with the rest of them. Okay, we got them drained. Now this is how easy this recipe is. We're just going to drizzle on, I don't know, maybe a tablespoon of oil. Mix them up really well. Put that oil covering all of them. Mm, that seems pretty good. Then liberally apply your salt to your liking. Some pepper. And again, mix it up. And if you want other seasoning, you can put, you know, garlic salt on your powder. You can put Italian seasoning. I mean, whatever you feel like. You can put thyme. This is up to you. But this is a really easy, easy dish to make for the side. And you want to get them as single layer as you can. And now they're going to be ready to pop in the oven. Now we're just going to pop them in the oven for 30 to 45 minutes. You want to get a little roasted, crunchy on the outside, and they're smooth on the inside. Be back when they're done. I have scrubbed these well, and I put them in cold water and then plastic wrap on top and keep them in the refrigerator. And I will show you how I like to eat them best. Just completely raw, but very, very cold. Mm. So crunchy. Kind of like a water chestnut, but not a little different. Kind of like a raw potato with more water and crunch to it. Mmm. I think they're a delicious snack. It's been about 45 minutes. You can leave them in longer if you want. It's just I'm getting hungry. But you can see some of them get a nice brown on them. The outside, believe it or not, um, looks like potato peel. So most people eating these will probably think they're eating potatoes. Let me dish up some. Your family will probably think this is potatoes. They won't even know that they're eating sunchokes or Jerusalem artichokes. Put a little more salt on this. And it's hot. Some have gotten really nice and crispy on the outside. Mm. Oops. There. Let's do a little taste test. Oh, I'm telling you, these are so good. And it's so easy to make. And most people will think they're potatoes, but they're not. It's a sunchoke. Try out this easy recipe and enjoy sunchoke the way my family does. This is Prepper Popery saying please subscribe, share the knowledge, and thumbs up if you like this video.